gonna do is take your beauty because that's really what he was after anyways and that's the issue with dating below your standard because that man logically knows that he would have never done that so the fact that you did that makes him feel like something is wrong with you and he's got to keep poking the bear until you snap so he can really see what's underneath it because to him that makes no logical sense so eventually he will resent you for doing that he will resent you for lowering your standards for him he will resent you every day when he wakes up and he's reminded that he's not good enough that he doesn't measure up which he already knew but he's seeing a young beautiful strong talented gorgeous great energy black woman stunting in his face every single day and what does he have to show for that energy nothing how do you think he feels about that these men are emotionally weak they need their ego stroked and they use you to stroke their ego because the accolades that they really want is not from you but from their homies when you are a kiki palmer whom i adore whom we all adore and you decide to lay with somebody that is already beneath you, you're making a contract with the devil because you've already lost. And you decided to let him give you a seed, which means 18 years of you paying him child support. That's another negative. And you think you're going to go online and drag this man? Girl, now he's boosted up. You got his confidence through the roof. Now he think he can pull another Kiki Palmer. He's feeling himself now. So straight girls, let's get together. Okay, I need y'all to get a conference going. I need y'all to organize some sort of retreat. I don't know what goes on in your world. I'm not pretending to know. But I need y'all to get together and have a conversation with each other about what you're going to get out of these men. Because they are winning. Uncle Steve, Uncle Steve is always trying to get me with the billionaire. I'm like, Uncle Steve, I don't need the billionaires. I just need some simple, simple stuff. Anytime I see Uncle Steve out, he's like, now nah, I got this guy. He's got a net worth of 300 zillion. Y'all can really create generations and generations of zillionaires. You need something zillionaires. with somebody with something. <laughs> Quit trying to give a boy your lifestyle and he ain't earned it. You do not listen to me. Don't be mad, Steve. Who I try to tell you to get with, you don't want to hear me. Now all of a sudden, he ain't pretty enough. With man. a lot of these, Billionaire guys or these industry guys—they get no more. stuff so. I can buy myself everything. I don't need. I don't need you to buy me anything, love. I'm African, okay? A hundred percent African, born and raised, okay? You know what my mama told me about men since I was little? Men are good for two things: children, if you want babies, and money. If a man says he loves you but he's not making you more wealthy. He doesn't love you, okay? If a man says he loves you and he is capable of having children with you, but does not want to have children with you, he does not love you. Because these men are gonna be trash for the most part, okay? See them for who they are and lower the fucking bar. It's too fucking high.